Hello and welcome to Animal Wise. Today we're going to talk to you about feeding your dog and cat when at home during quarantine. The coronavirus has meant many animal guardians are starting to have doubts over the care of their companions during lockdown. Ensuring they have a proper diet is one of the most common concerns. For this reason, we provide a series of tips to help you know how to feed your animals during confinement, thereby ensuring their health and well-being at this difficult time. Be considerate. While it can be easy to worry, one of the most important things we need to do is be considerate. We are currently without significant food manufacturing problems or shortages. However, distribution and delivery may be affected by the current crisis. In cases where your animal needs a specific diet for a health issue, it's best to purchase enough food to last two weeks in advance. This should tide us over if we need to wait for a new delivery. Dietary changes, even simply choosing a new brand for the animal, can cause gastrointestinal issues. Dogs and cats have digestive systems adapted to a stable diet. Changes to their eating habits can result in causing various gastrointestinal disorders such as vomiting and diarrhea. These are two conditions which require veterinary attention. Weight control. It is also very important you control your pet's weight since they will spend more time at home and have less opportunity to exercise. This increases the chances of your animal companion gaining weight. We know that weight increase and associated obesity have very serious consequences for the health of an animal. It is also important to know that the development of obesity is associated with the development of certain diseases. These include pulmonary and cardiovascular diseases in dogs and dermatological problems, hepatic lipidosis or urinary problems in cats. Weight gain can also pave the way for developing certain endocrine or metabolic diseases such as diabetes. We're not talking about aesthetic problems in your cat caused by weight gain. Preventing your animal from becoming overweight helps to prevent serious potential health problems. While individual animals have specific issues, maintaining a healthy weight is possible. Since animals are spending time in confinement, eating the same amount of food as before can lead to weight gain. To help us keep our animals at a healthy weight, we recommend you weigh your pet every two weeks. By tracking this information, you will know whether or not you need to adjust their care needs. If you see your pet is increasing their weight by a significant amount, you should call your vet and detail the situation. This is so they can provide advice specific to your animal's situation. Even as little as 500 grams more weight can lead to significant problems. It is also much easier to prevent possible weight gain than it is to reverse it. How to properly feed my companion animal. Since we are spending more time at home, many of us are taking the opportunity to cook more. If we have a dog or cat, they will often be on the lookout for even the smallest morsel of food. Such dedication for scraps means they may give us the impression they are hungry when they are actually being greedy. In these circumstances, we need to avoid giving them more than their daily food allowance. If your dog begs for food, you can distract them or play with them. We often mistake requests for attention to be a simple request for food when they may want other kinds of interaction. If we give them food every time they beg, they learn to think they will get it every time they do so in the future. Since the animal's boredom levels may be higher, they may beg even more for something to do. This is the kind of behaviour which can lead to a weight problem. For this reason, you should distract your pet to see if they want attention or are genuinely hungry. You can use intelligence games and toys to help entertain your pet and improve cognition at the same time. A good example is a food dispensing toy such as a Kong. This way they get a treat, but they also stave off boredom and develop mental skills. We know that it can be very difficult to refuse our animals treats, however, we need to be strong, especially during confinement. If you give in to them regularly, the consequences to their health can be significant. Another technique you can apply is to feed them the same amount of food as before, but divide it into smaller portions throughout the day. This way, the animal can have more stimulus, but will eat the same amount and not overindulge. We don't give the animal more to eat, but we give them smaller meals to help keep them occupied and satiated for longer. If you do end up giving them a treat or they overeat for whatever reason, we can subtract food from the normal meal schedule. Or you can take some of their regular food, often in the form of kibble, and set it aside to give them as a treat without increasing their daily calorific intake. It is very important we avoid giving them extra food when we are cooking or eating, as it will not only mean they eat more calories, but you are instilling a negative behaviour which they will likely continue even after quarantine is over. If your dog or cat cannot control themselves when cooking or eating, it may be best to keep them in a separate room until these activities are complete. Here ends our special quarantine animal care advice. We hope this video has been useful and we sincerely hope that everyone in your family is safe and healthy. 
whether they walk on two legs or four. We'll see you next time.